Hello, uh, this is Tiger Infusy, and welcome back to a no preview on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tim and T, the Black, White, and Green issue number three. And uh, yeah, I do want to give a little advance warning just in case because this video is being recorded about a week in advance. So I assume just going off of the last few issues. There might likely be like an extended preview for this issue with a lot more pages and a lot more stuff going over it, but I won't be able to access all that kind of stuff until next week, so at that point it won't be necessary to really talk about it because we'll be talking about the issue itself by that point. So I've got like a few pages to talk about and also a few covers, so at least we've got something to talk about. So um, yeah, let's get into this one. So unfortunately I don't know all the tales of the like the stories for this issue. I don't know who's going to be doing what uh, stories as well, so yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, okay, so either way, we do have uh, one story which is called Sin Sewer, and I've got a uh, like, feeling that this story is supposed to be like a parody of like Sin City and stuff like that, and from what I can tell, it just seems like Raphael's just going to be going on like, the, like a mission to go around and build some uh, crumb bosses and stuff like that. But either way, we do get to see a new character called Emerald, and, or, em Emrella? Uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> either way, she's there, she's talking to Raphael and saying, basically, like, you know, like, I need your help because, uh, my, like, because basically my sister's being kidnapped by her parents, and basically her parents are involved in the, like, the mafia, uh, bosses, crime, and all that kind of stuff, and she needs Raphael's help to get to, uh, to go out. And she does mention a few things in here which I do like the sound of. Uh, because she does uh, go on to say that basically she heard about like like Raphael and the other brothers and that she understands uh, and that she thinks that like Raphael understands like more than anyone else about the darkness that premates uh, this world. So I do like, find it to be pretty interesting. And Raphael uh, gl gladly takes it on. So I got a feeling that this one could be like a nice dark story which oh I'm really like, all here for, <laughs> so, yeah, um, so then for the next story, uh, which has the title so far, is called The Beast That Bleeds Green, and with this one, I must admit, I do like the sound of, because it sounds so interesting, and you seeing what they're doing, especially with, like, the colour green, like, uh, because I, I did mention the last one, the, uh, since, uh, since you were, it seems that, the, like, the colour of, of Emerald's hair, and Raphael's, uh, skin is gonna be green, that's pretty interesting, but for this one, which I do find interesting so far, is that the uh, like the blood which is made out of Mizjun is green. So I'll be quite curious to see how the greenness of this uh, story will be like like changed and affected by this. Because if like we do get to see like a mutant uh, from this blood or anything like that, I wonder if that's, like, like I do wonder if we're gonna be seeing like that be green or something like that. So I do find this one to be pretty interesting. But either way, uh, we do get to see with the turtles, they're walking through the sewers, and we're talking about this monster saying, like, basically it's bleeding, it's like a terrible kind of thing, and we do get to see Mikey at one point shows his nunchucker saying that, oh yeah, this beast is like, uh, basically destroying my nunchucker and all that kind of stuff, so I am quite curious to see just, like, how, like, deadly and dangerous this beast is, is how to do that to Mikey's nunchuckers, but at the same time, I am quite curious to see if we will be able to get to see like what happened like before all this and see like how this monster got to bleed and stuff like that. Also, I'm quite curious to see about the monster itself. Like so many good questions which I have. This story which I'm looking forward to quite a lot is really giving me like a lot of dark kind of vibes which oh yes, this could be really great and amazing. So hopefully that will be good. Hopefully. <laughs> so yeah. Um Okay, so then for the next two pages, which unfortunately we don't have any uh, like dis like dialogue on the pages, or we don't have any like like basically we don't have any titles for this for, for these stories. Uh, so for this one, we do get to see the turtle, Sarah Naples van, and driving through the uh, through the city, and this one they're hit. And I must admit, I, I, I don't know how I feel about the choice for green for this one because I mean, okay, so for the first bit of green is for the traffic light. Understandable, very good. <laughs> and then we got April's van. Okay, that's pretty interesting. But then for the next bill green, and that is to tell us bandanas, which oh, I don't know how to really feel about it. So on the one hand, I do like it that like all tells are different uh, like shades of green. I do find that to be pretty interesting, pretty cool. But at the same time, it just feels weird to like see them with the green bandanas and all that. I, I I'm not a big fan of it, but it'll do, I guess. So yeah. 
And then for the last story, which, uh, this one, yikes. This is possibly going to be the worst drawn tell story in, like, forever. Just, oh my god, the faces the toes are uh, pulling and just, it's ugly. I, I, I think that's the best way to describe it, it's just not pleasant to look at. And the green for this one is only on the toe skin, so that's kind of cool. But looking at the faces that the toes are pulling, ah, oh, this is going to be the worst story in this one. And ah, oh, it just looks so terrible. The uh, like the faces, and uh, I don't know how. To, uh, yeah, uh, that's all I really got to say about it. It's just it looks terrible. I don't think anyone. I don't think anything can redeem this one, which. Oh god, yeah, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> so yeah, um, okay. So for the description for this one, it is our two car celebration continues. Marvel uh, at new stories featuring the team and T in a classic black white style with a touch of green because we're keeping it uh, fresh that way. Join us for this round of spectacular creators: Jock, uh, Cameron Chitook, uh, Dave Wizlogs. Uh, Riley Rosmo, rock and roll artist Alex Zrit, and more. So, yeah, that sounds like a very awesome team. I've not heard any of them, <laughs> so we're off to a great start there. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I guess <laughs> things are pretty decent. Um, okay, so for the covers, we got cover A, which done by Jock, which I do find this one to be quite like interesting, I want to say, because. We do get to see the four turtles, and we do get to see them like coming out of. I, I don't know what to really say. I don't know if they're coming out of the manhole covers or what, but we do get to see each turtle like peering through something with ooze uh, pouring down. And I mean, I like it because it's just something which you can tell like which turtle's which, and also at the same time, it's something different and unique, which I just like it. It's just something different, which I do quite uh, quite like. Uh, I, I do enjoy it quite a bit. Um, okay, so then for cover B, which done by Riley uh, Rosmo, we do get to see the Sin City, no, <laughs> the Sin Sewer story one, uh, uh, basically Raphael's taking on muggers, um, so I'm quite curious to see if this is going to be something which we do get to see, like, play out in the actual story itself, I, 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 th I think we most likely will, and at first I was thinking that the big toe in the back was Mikey, but I guess not, but either way, this one does look pretty cool, it would be nice to see like all the other like artists on this one has their own like time to shine and do their own thing where he's able to like represent their own story. But either way, but yeah, overall this one looks pretty cool. I do like the look at this one. It's just very dynamic with what they're trying to do for the story. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> so then for the one ten variant done by Paul Pope, we do get to see a turtle eating pizza, and uh, yeah, there's not really too much I can really say about it. It looks okay for the most part there's just not really much really happening with this one it's just one is one first just kind of there and just kind of happening because it it, it is so um yeah let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this uh issue are you looking forward to it are you not and uh yeah uh that's good for today guys if you don't please share let's just grab no stuff good bye yo bye